Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this. They're calling it a lake. Uh, must be a really long lake and uh, got some contours in it. They need it to be in a space this big, and their laser bed is only, I'm guessing, 24 by 12 or 12 by 24. So before we do anything, we need to clean this map up, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and control G and group it together. And then we're gonna put hit P and put that in the center of the page, and then grab our lake map and just expand it from one edge or the other. You know, don't don't do this. You know, only go from these four nodes to make it fit. And then you can make it a little bit bigger and hit P and that's gonna put it in the center of your space. Now we're gonna move this out of the way so our bed won't uh, interfere. And before I would start doing anything, it needs to be cleaned up. There's a loop right here and there's a dead end right here. So let's just take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. You should really never have square edges on a riverbed. So we're gonna take the smoothing tool, make it like 0.25, and we're just gonna smooth out that corner. Now that, that might not be work because it might be two different shapes. Let's see, I gotta ungroup it. So select it, go up to object, order, well, I must not have selected it. So, well, I'm selecting the whole thing. So let's uh, select that and go up to object, group, and ungroup. Now we should be able to straighten that edge out if it's not a couple of pieces. We might have to break the curve apart or ungroup it again. Now, see those are two nodes that aren't connected. So we need to probably connect them first, so I'd select them both. And right here, you can join two nodes instead of going, you know, through the other. And then you could, you know, you could do this a little bit. And just remember, I've made a lot of lake maps. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, to get rid of this loop, uh, there's a couple ways. One, we could just kind of invert it like that, and then maybe even take out this node and we could have done that at first anyway. And then I would just go over the whole thing and uh, look at it, see if you got any bad spots. Um, you know, this is, uh, I'm guessing these are two little islands. You know, there's some jagged points in here that I might take the smoothing tool to and see it. I need to grab the outside and go to object. And well, I'm grabbing the box for a second. Tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna set the, well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna set that, go to object, lock. And we're gonna lock that so we can't grab that outside anymore. And then we can take the shape tool and grab that. Maybe even just delete that node. You know, just give it some uh, round corners. Uh, one, it's going to look a lot better when it cuts. And we'll just, we'll get the smoothing tool. We could actually set the smoothing tool on like a one inch now, make it a little bit bigger. The bigger your smoothing tool, the smoother your edges are going to be. Just kind of go over the whole thing. It'll, I'm almost guaranteeing it's going to look better in the long run. It's going to look more like a lake. And I might have to do this video in two parts. And then you got to think about things like right here. Um, you know, they're going to cut these out in layers and you're going to have to glue that back. That little bitty piece might burn off. You know, so just maybe grab the smoothing tool and a lot of times you can take the shape tool and just kind of move it like that. Make it a little bit thicker. Then I would take away maybe this node to, uh, well, it was a, we could convert it to a curve by right clicking, convert it to a curve. Then you have handles and just kind of do the opposite or whatever you think looks the best. Anyway, so stay tuned for part two and we're gonna try to section this thing off. Hopefully, that'll she'll be able to cut out in her laser. Hope that helped, thank you for watching.